Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you for the applause. <laughs> That's okay. No, sit down. Come on, sit down already. I have nobody watching yet to, to enjoy this, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, I just thought I'd like try a little trick there just to see how that uh, worked out. But uh, my name's Andy. I'm coming to you live from Brea, California here on a Friday evening. We should be partying, right? We should be out partying. We should be out at uh, 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 Buffalo Wild Wings, the Yard House, um, the Firefox. The Firefox is an old place that um, in Anaheim that were, we used to call it the... Um, Shoot, uh, gosh darn it, what do we used to call it? There's a name for it and I can't think of what it's called. Anybody that's coming on that knows the name, <laughs> yeah, the Firefox, what do we call it? You know, of course I was in my twenties and, and thirties uh, going to calls there and uh, sometimes hanging out with some of my buddies, but it was called the, the Cougar Fox. No, I forget what it was called, gosh darn it. Anyway, who's on right now? Hey Loretta, nice to see you. All right, we got a, a, a bit of a full show. Uh, because I have been, um, obviously, like everybody else, we've been uh, watching a lot of live streams. We see a lot of stuff coming ac across our uh, timeline with Facebook um, uh, uh, notifications that people are going live and that kind of stuff. And I know I do this fairly often. I try not to over do the same show over and over again, but this is one type of show that just needs to be done because you have people that are like running for president that are, that, that you know, they have millions of dollars available to them and they can't do a live stream. What is what, <laughs> really hire me, call me. I don't care what party you're with because I'm so, it, <laughs> it's so crazy that these uh, people that have been on hundreds of broadcasts on, on news, whether it's, uh, you know, Fox or uh, CNDNC, uh, CBS, whatever it's called, um, uh, CNN, all those, uh, all those uh, stations, and yet now during the pandemic, they're all trying to do stuff from the house and it's horrible. It is horrible. And they're doing things that amateurs do. They're doing things that I'm gonna to talk to you as a live streamer, those of you that do live videos, that when you can, you should avoid some of these things. The other thing I'm gonna talk about, well, first I'm gonna talk about some of the shows that I have coming up this week. I have an interview coming up on Tuesday with a doctor who is amazing. Uh, uh, she is uh, gonna be a great interview. She's going to be talking about some um, uh, some things in regard to COVID nineteen and the uh, the quarantine and what's happening in our hospitals and a whole bunch of stuff. She is amazing. I've been watching some of her live videos and she had a panel with about with I posted the that panel on um, my my personal page. Um, she had six doctors on and a nurse who had COVID nineteen, and the information that was coming out of that panel was amazing. So I'll be interviewing her on Tuesday. Um, and no, yeah, Tuesday and, um, tomorrow we have, uh, the Tennessee quarantine chuggers. We'll be doing a panel show and that kind of stuff. If you're not in the private group, the, 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 uh, Tennessee quarantine, uh, chuggers, you need to be in that group. Uh, I will put the link in the comments at some point so that you can uh, see it. Uh, and I see the comments are showing back up. So I got uh, Loretta showing up. I got uh Nobby. Um, I don't want what yes, you do. You would lie. You're lying, Nobby. Yes, you do want to see this. Um, and so uh, I want to encourage you to join the Tennessee. If you like beer on any level and you can maybe try to do a chug, just post a video. It is, I'm going to show a little bit of a scene uh, towards the end of this broadcast. I will share um, one of my favorite guys who comes on and does it. It is, <laughs> it, and it's growing. I can't, the number of people that have joined the Tennessee uh, quarantine chuggers is amazing. It happens to be a very, popular show. So you must, must join. All right. Uh, actually, let me see if I can put the, uh, let's see. I'm going to, I think if I do this, uh, this should get you there. I'm going to put it in the comments right now. So, uh, go there, join. If you can't join for some reason, uh, I will yeah, message me and I'll get you into the group. It is a great group, especially when you see this, uh, and I, I don't know. I find it entertaining. It, it is super entertaining. And so that brings me to live streaming, live streaming, is the way of the future. Do not think that because everybody's doing live streaming, you're late to the you're late to the game. That it's it's too late for you. You are not too late. You just have to shine above the others. And there's going to be some things you need to do to make sure that you do because there's things that people do that's going to that's going to cause them to not flourish. There are certain things that just kind of you know 
make it look like oh, this is some person just holding their phone, that kind of stuff. Now, there is a place for that. There's a place for holding your phone and doing a live stream and that kind of stuff. There definitely is a place for that. But as you grow and begin to build a show and build, be, uh, begin to build a following, you want people to stop their scrolling, right? People are uh, in their bed, you know, laying down, trying to keep from dropping the phone on their face. And they're scrolling, looking for something to stop on and watch. That's what they're scrolling for. They're looking for something that's going to cast their attention. And so what you need to make sure is that when they see your video, that they stop for a second and look and see what the description is, what it says on there. And they're going to stop and actually watch really important. And as you go further and people begin to get to know you, you're going to want them to see who you are and look at you and know and recognize you right away because they're scrolling fast, right? If you are one of those people that are going through Instagram, going through Facebook, going through uh, TikTok, going through Pinterest, going through Facebook, and you're scrolling, looking through all these things, you're, you're, you're stopping at the things that that jump out at you and make you stop. And so there's some things you're going to need to do to make sure that you are, um, attracting people, uh, attracting the right people, especially if you're selling something. If you're a, a network marketer, if you are somebody selling an online product, if you're somebody trying to uh, build your authority and your expertise in something, uh, you want people to find you quickly and recognize you and stop because they know that's you because you're using the same colors and the branding and that kind of stuff. Now, I had an Instagram uh, expert on too, and he says sometimes people overdo it with that area, but I think there's a balance. There's something that you need to do probably so that people know that that's you. And, and, and you're, you'll figure out what that thing is, what it is that your audience likes about you and focusing on that. Uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, recently because of my friend, uh, Bruce Jones. He, he has uh, uh, alerted me and I've been following Russell Brunson for a long time. He's the uh, creator of uh, ClickFunnels. And uh, although I'm not, I don't own ClickFunnels any longer and don't use it. It's just, it isn't something that I use that tool, but his teachings, his books, his processes, and the things that he talks about is fantastic. So the last three days, he's been having a, a, a live broadcast that he only keeps up for a little while and then he deletes. And then he turns those live broadcasts into a product that he sells. And it's a, it's a great model. Uh, I've used it. Uh, other people that I know have used it. It's a great model where you do this thing for free. You leave it up for a very short period of time and then you delete it. And you say, hey, if you want that thing, because you didn't take enough notes or you were too busy or you were listening while you were live, you can purchase it for this amount of money or you can get it for free by joining my group. My group is you know, $300 a month, $200 a month, that kind of stuff. And so there's some great things you can do with live streaming that you can turn those live streams into a product because you're going to then repurpose them by downloading them and then putting into something like Kajabi, which I, I'll, I'll share a link for Kajabi and some of the stuff, uh, other stuff later on. So uh, because I have so much stuff to talk about, let me go ahead and get in here really quickly. Uh, to begin, uh, just really, I want to talk about the live streaming stuff. And again, I know that I've talked about this stuff before and it's super important. So I'm going to put it up here on the whiteboard and I'm going to give you some live stream tips. All right. Some really important live stream tips. These things are extremely important. I promise you. Uh, but the first thing you need to worry about is proper camera positioning. Do you see where my camera positioning is that I, it's right at my eye level. That's look, I'm looking right at it. Right. And then I can look down at my notes and then not or my computer screen and I look right back up to it. Uh, one of the worst things that I see on a regular basis is professionals, professionals, professionals have their camera down on their desk or they have their phone. You know, they have this thing on the back of their phone that, you know, that opens up this thing right here. And then they put it on their desk and you're looking and they're looking down and that makes sure it gives you a double chin. Number one, people are looking up your nose and you're hovering over them and it's not an attractive look. I promise you, even the most attractive women, it is not an attractive look. I'm telling you, just simply get a tripod and I should have brought one up here. There, there's many tripods. There's there's tripods you use for, uh, that you can purchase for $10, $15, that you can put your phone up so that you can look at the camera and you don't have to hold it and you can see it. Right. If you are trying to be an authority, if you're trying to be an expert, if you're trying to position yourself as somebody that knows what you're talking about, you got to set your camera up so you look like a professional, like you look like a news anchor, like you look like someone that's on TV. And it doesn't take much. You just put it up on a tripod. Put. <laughs> And you learn how to speak English. But if you're looking down at the camera like this and you're and it's giving you um, a, a double chin, it is uh, you got to stop it. All right. You just <laughs> you just simply got to stop. I'm sure in one of these other comments, I will uh, come back to proper uh, camera positioning. But using your camera that's on your computer, 
I understand that that's the only camera you have. You can't afford maybe a, a webcam that you can put up on a tripod. I'm using a Brio um, Logitech uh, camera that's on a tripod in a ring light uh, that's up there. You may not be able to afford that. Uh, and I understand all that. People tell me, well, I don't want to buy that. I can't afford it. Mama, mama. Then just borrow your neighbor's tripod or borrow you know, your family's tripod and put your phone on a, on a holder. And I didn't, I didn't bring anything up here. There's all kinds of different holders you can get. They're like 10 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. They're little things. You just put it up there and you put it on your tripod, but bring your camera up to eye level. So you don't have a double chin, right? It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. You'll get a double chin because you got to be looking down and your people are looking up your nose and you got to make sure that you cleared your nose out. It is just not an attractive look, please. For God's sake. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. You understand the whiteboard. There you go. Right? I can use it for that too. I can also write on it, but I, I the whiteboard, I, I like to use this way too. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that too. All right. So I'm going to go on forever. All right. Use a mic. Find a way to use a mic for God's sake. Uh, one thing, you don't have to use this mic. This mic's 450 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever. I forget what it was. But anyway, uh, it's a road mic. It's a fantastic mic. It looks good on camera, right? I don't I don't put it in my face. Like you see other people, they got the camera in the front of their face, the, the microphone in front of them. Hello, this is, uh, and I'm the hidden guy behind the, the mic. You don't need to do that. I think you can hear me perfectly fine. It's off to my left. Uh, it's pointed in the right direction. My voice uh, is being captured by the camera or by the microphone. I keep saying camera and that's fine. Uh, but, um, you know, if you're using your phone, all you got to do is put on your, uh, uh, earphones. Um, you can even not put in your earphones and just drape your mic over your, um, your, uh, collar. Uh, there's other solutions, but get a, a freaking mic for God's sake. Uh, the sound in a video is more important than the video. I've repeated this a hundred times. I repeated it on stage to three, 400, 500 people. The sound on a video is more important than the video itself. All right. Understand that people will click off. If it sounds like you're in the bathroom when you're using the mic on your, on your computer or your phone is at, at you know, two feet away and you're talking, there's that distance and it, it, your, your voice, um, voice uh, waves uh, get separated and now there sounds like there's space and it, and it, it, it just does not sound good, right? You need to get a mic. Uh, uh, if you're using a computer, I have an ATR um, I, um, uh, uh, audio technica, audio technica mic. It's a USB mic. It's only something like 40 bucks, 39 bucks. It's worth it. Get it. It sounds great. When I use this mic or that mic on the other computer, my other computer's right over there. That's why I keep pointing that direction. And uh, it, it, if I close my eyes, I really can't tell the difference. This mic does sound better, but it, it doesn't sound much better than the other mic over there. It's a, it, so a $400 mic compared to a $49 mic, it does not matter. Audio Technica, USB uh, mic. I forget there's another model number, but you'll find it. Just go on there. It plugs right into your computer. Get that mic. You set it right down in front of you. Nobody has to see it. And uh, it picks up your voice fantastically. So please, for, for all, all of humanity, get a mic. <laughs> all right, background. Oh, my gosh. The background, I have watched doctors. I have watched, um, uh, you know, uh, mothers. I have watched a number of people. And they're doing their Facebook Lives. They're live broadcasting on YouTube and that kind of stuff in their bedroom. And the bed's unmade. Uh, the clothes that they just bought out of the dryer are kind of piled up in the back of their, uh, you know, back on the top of their couch and, and you can see it right the other day. And I make this mistake too for, so I'm not going to be hit this one that hard, but I, I did a training video on how to use, uh, um, a Google voice to bring in a caller into a StreamYard broadcast. Right. And so when I recorded that training video, a bottle of whiskey was sitting here on my desk because the night before I had done a show that required a bottle of whiskey. And, uh, and that was in my background. And so I, I make the mistake too. So you have to make sure that you police your background for things that are gonna cause a distraction. Because I'm telling you that when people are looking at something and concentrating on something, they're not listening to you. If your message is important and you want people to hear it, make sure your background isn't distracting, causing them to wonder, oh, why, didn't they, why didn't they fold those clothes before they went live? Why didn't they make their bed? Right. Why didn't they, people look at that stuff. I have somebody on the April. Uh, I know that she is pointing out stuff. Like I send her a picture of something or a video of something. And she goes, I didn't know that you, you, um, you know, did fly fishing, uh, you know, uh, things like, where did you see that in way in the distance, you know, and I don't, but I'm just saying, I, just, <laughs> I don't know why I thought fly fishing. And she noticed that people notice those things and it takes away from your message. The message could be huge, 
right? It could be the main uh, subject of your picture, but I'm telling you, people look at the things that are in the background. Another, I had another thing, and I had taken a picture for a couple of different reasons. I was going to talk about the the toothpaste that my my children I have six year old, nine year old, uh, twelve year old, and a and a and a thirteen year old that somehow they squeeze the the toothpaste from the middle of the toothpaste thing. It, it gets all over the top of the you know, then they don't put the lid back on, and it's all over. And then it also gets smeared on the um, the sink, right? And so when I took the picture. I, I, I decided that I'm just going to use the, the part of it that's squeezing in the middle because I had a longer message that had to do with toothpaste, you know, fingerprinting, you know, finger, uh, finger painting and a bunch of other stuff. And I'm telling you, there's somebody that said, hey, why don't you get your why don't you clean your sink? <laughs> so my message is the background is is as important as the main subject. If you're the main subject, make sure that you continue to be the main subject. Don't let your background be the main subject because then nobody's going to listen to what you have to say. All right. Control your environment, controlling the environment. My daughter just walked in. I have a security system because I have small young uh, children. Uh, my daughter just walked in and there's a beep beep, right? Um, I, she's old enough. She's 26 years old. My oldest daughter, my youngest is six. Um, uh, I told her I was going live and most of my kids know not to open and close the doors because people can hear the slamming of the door. They can hear the beep beep and that kind of stuff. The other day, one of the Supreme Court justices, um, uh, I, uh, there was a, a flushing of a toilet in the background. All right. So this means control your environment. Know when you're going live, alert the people that are in your home that you're going live. If you're going live from your, um, your, your house. Now, again, again, understand my six-year-old, my nine-year-old, 12-year-old and 13-year-old, for the most part, in most cases, understand when I say quiet on the set, because that's what I tell them. They know from that point on to be quiet on the set. My 26-year-old doesn't know to be quiet on the set. All right. <laughs> but alert the people that you live with that, Hey, I'm going live. I'm trying to, I'm trying to conduct a professional broadcast here. Explain to them. This is the way that I make money. This, and that's what I explained to them. Hey, listen, this is what I do for a living. I need your cooperation. You know, try to, not to yell and scream or throw a, a football. So that it hits me in the head while I'm on live and that kind of stuff. So do your very best to control your uh, environment. Sometimes it's a little bit endearing. Every so often my six year old will come and ask me, can I have an ice cream? Cause he knows to ask me when I'm live because I'll just say yes, just to get him out of the shot. All right. So understand that I know that these things happen. I've seen it happen to other very, uh, uh, very professional professionals. That's what was going on in my head. So I had to say it. Um, and so understand that can be a little bit endearing, but uh, I, it's probably best not to have a flushing toilet uh, in your background or a, uh, any other bodily function It's probably uh, cause you'll end up on Fox news. You'll end up uh, doing other stuff. All right. So controlling your environment. All right. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. Gosh, please. Uh, for all, uh, humanity do not wait for people to join. That is a killer for your videos. I promise you understand me. Um, if you hit the play button or the live button and you begin to say, okay, we're going to sit here and we're going to wait for people to join. And you're looking down at your screen. Like I'm looking right now and you're going, okay, we got, uh, we got Jimmy joining. Uh, we got Nobby. We got Loretta. Oh, nice. Okay, we're going to wait for a few more people. All right, we got people joining. Just a few more. We're going to wait for a few. <laughs> right? How? That is not. That is not. Please. Please. Do not wait. Start your show. If you are concerned that you're going to start too soon and people are, that are joining at the 30 second mark or the minute mark or the two minute mark are going to miss the main subject of what it is you're going to be talking about, the very best thing you could do is hit the live button. If you don't have an intro or you do have an intro, that doesn't matter, right? I have an intro. Part of my reasoning for having an intro is that it gives that time, but it's an entertaining thing, right? People, it's got music, it's got graphics. It's got stuff happening. Uh, at the opening of my show, I had applause, which was something different just to kind of like people go, Hey, what's he doing? He's got a little applause going on there. And it, it, it the people maybe won't click off because they're going to say, man, he must be doing something big. He's got a, like a whole studio audience there. Right. Or he's doing something weird that makes people laugh. And then I talk about, I talk immediately. All right. On the show today, we are going, what did I do? I talked about what it is we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about um, uh, some things we, uh, some tips about running a stream, uh, a live stream. We're going to be talking about uh, the Tennessee Chuggers. I'm going to show you something like that. Uh, we have other shows coming up, right? I begin to talk. I begin to tell people what it is we're going to do. And that is filling that space that otherwise you would be saying, all right, we're going to uh, wait for a couple people to join. And I think in some ways, some people are doing that because they're, they're trying to get their nerve up to begin talking, right? 
the fastest way to getting your nerve up to begin talking is to begin talking. <laughs> Just start talking and start telling people what it is they're going to see. So please, please, this is this is the reason this is bold is because it's most it's most important. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a little arrow here. Right, I'm going to put a little arrow here, darken it in. This is so important. Do not, do not wait. Please do not wait. And some of you are wondering, how did I do that? Since that's really not written, written on the whiteboard. Uh, I'm not going to give all my secrets away. All right. Um, and I talked about this before. Use a tripod for your phone. All right. I already talked about that in the camera position because the phone is the camera. So you can skip that one. Uh, when you're using your computer, try to use an ethernet cable. Uh, I happen to have a really strong Wi-Fi, And so the show tends to be pretty good on the on the Wi-Fi, uh, but I also have a hard wire to my computer because Wi-Fi is being used by a lot of other things in your house now, right? It used to be only the computer used Wi-Fi, only the computer used the dial-up back in the day, right? It was only the computer. But nowadays, uh, I could probably name five things off the top of my head. Oh, no, more than that. I have four, I have four echoes in my house. Four, <laughs> four echoes. Yeah, I don't care if the government listens to this thing. I don't care if China, who cares? I could care less if they're listening. Uh, I have no governmental secrets. I don't care. There's nothing to steal here. Um, I even have one that's a watch. So then they can see what's going on. They can see me walking around my house naked. I don't care. All right. And so I have that. So that's four using Wi-Fi. I have uh, three Apple TVs. No, four Apple TVs in my home. I have uh, my refrigerator uses Wi-Fi. My solar panels use Wi-Fi because it sends uh, a message to tell me what's the usage uh, of the the the, uh, the panels, the solar panels. Uh, I have ADT alarm system. I have uh, five cameras around my house and inside my house uh, that are both uh, ring cameras and um, the other cameras. I forget what they're called. Um, Arlo's. So I have Arlo's. I have Arlo's. I can see, I leave the house. I can see, I can see my kids and what they're doing in the house. I can also talk to them through the cameras. All of those things are using Wi-Fi actively. And so what does that do to the stream? What does that do to your Wi-Fi? It, 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 it's, it's busy, right? The Wi-Fi is busy. And so very, very important that nowadays, because there's so much stuff being, uh, and I, that's a lot right now. I almost have 10 things using my Wi-Fi. And uh, it's 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 uh, if you want to have a strong uh, connection uh, on your live stream, uh, we're we're streaming right now to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch all at the same time. That you make sure that you have a good connection, and that is through an Ethernet cable connected directly to your uh, modem. All right. Um, the next thing is uh, use Streamyard for God's oops, use Streamyard for God's sake. I'm going to go ahead and put this up right here, and uh, Streamyard is the best oops i'm on the wrong gizmo here oh, see that's not very professional so use getstreamyard.live go to getstreamyard.live go there and um begin to use streamyard no streamyard i have tons of training videos if you're watching my broadcast right now and you send me a private message say hey do you have any training videos that i could watch i have a bunch i have one training video it's about an hour long i know it seems very long but it shows you how to use a, a streamyard for a basic broadcast and then has a more complex broadcast where you I show you that how I use my um, my intro video, how I use lower thirds and frames and that kind of stuff and then show comments like I'm showing uh, some of these comments like um, uh, provide tons of value and they'll do the replay and share. Nice. Very good. Uh, I, I should have not brought that. Hey, Laura, nice to see you. I guess so I can bring all these comments. He keeps uh, pulling rabbits out of the hat and tries to hide it from people. <laughs> Yes, I'm always trying to look clever. All right, so I show, so in that training video, I show you how to do all that kind of stuff. Um, one of the things that I also hear, and I probably should have put it up there, um, but StreamYard has that ability to use these comments. And I hear this all the time, like people turn off the comments on their phone um, and they say, oh, I don't wanna watch those because it's, it's uh, distracting and it, it, I can't do it. Okay, in your first 10 broadcast, that's that's right. You maybe should just push the live button and begin to talk and don't worry about the comments. But at some point, it is super important. Back to uh, Loretta's uh, comment about provide ton, provide tons of value and they'll um, uh, do the replay. Some of the value that you get are from the comments because people are going to ask you questions. They're going to respond like Loretta did and say stuff. And it's going to give me a talking point that's going to give more value to maybe not Loretta in that case, because she's the one making that comment, but now I'm sharing it with you and you go, oh, 
I, I understand what's important about running a live broadcast. If I'm a professional, if I'm a network marketer, if I'm an entrepreneur, if I'm an author, if I'm a doctor and I'm trying to get the message out that I'm the person that I need to look to for this thing so that they'll hire me or they will engage with me or they will, um, um, you know, um, send me a message to, um, help them with something. And that way I can now, um, uh, you know, build them up as a client and begin to build trust with them. All of that stuff comes through, uh, having good content that speaks to, to your audience. Your audience is going to tell you what needs to be in your broadcast because they're going to comment and they're going to ask questions, not so much Nobby, but everybody else is going to put stuff in your comments that's going to help you understand what it is your audience wants to hear because they're going to ask questions. Sorry, I need to take a drink really quick. All right, so use StreamYard. StreamYard, getstreamyard.live. Go to getstreamyard.live. Begin to use it, begin to know it. If you need any help, I got tons of videos that I can just send you and it will help you go further in uh, your broadcast. Uh, really quick, let me see. Um, they've trained you well. Who's they? Who, who, who? Oh, the people, the, the comments? I'm just not sure what that, yeah, somebody trained me well. <laughs> April says, yeah, the transparent uh, thing, Nobby, that could uh, really come in uh, beneficial for so many things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you using transparent background for the site? Yes, absolutely. So this is made in Canva. Um, so let me show you. Actually, I'll share my screen here for exactly what I did. Application. Nope. Hold on. I think it's this one. Maybe. Let's see what it shows up. Oh, no. Dang it. No. Hold on. All right. Let me get back. I'm going to use the other one. Sorry, that was, um, you know, when you use Canva, it opens up two different windows when you when you launch. Um, all right, there it is. All right, so this is what I'm using right now. I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger and get rid of this comment. Oops. <laughs> Hold on, it gave away my thing. All right, so this is the graphic that I made in uh, Canva. <clears throat> Got to get rid of this banner too. All right, there we go. So this is Canva. And so, yeah, so I make, uh, I type it out to the right, right? Because I know. And it took me, so I did this twice. So the first time I did it, the font uh, for the bulleted points was larger. But when I put it into StreamYard, I saw that my mic was covering the use StreamYard and the use Ethernet cable um, bullet, bullet points. And so then I went back in, I reduced the size of the font and then I, I downloaded it again and put it in and it worked perfectly. Uh, when you hit uh, the download button, let me see. I don't know if this will show up. Sometimes it, these things don't show up. So if I hit this button here, let me, I'm going to go back and see if you can see that. Oh, you can. All right. So uh, right here, it says transparent background. You just check that box for transparent background. And now all this area that's white, it will now be transparent. And then I can come back here. And then when I... Uh, put it, so now you see my arrow there, <laughs> I'll bite, slow and some. Um, and so now it is an overlay. So now this is an overlay, which is actually, when you think of uh, StreamYard, there is, um, you know, the camera, there is an overlay and then there's a, a background. All right. So the background obviously is what's going to be the first layer, right? So I have a background up right now. If I were to bring my, uh, my camera down, which I'll do for you one second here. My camera, my camera hides the background. So that's background, camera, and then now I have an overlay. The overlay goes above. That's why you see when I lift up this elbow, you see it on my arm. Uh, but if I stay over here, uh, I can do stuff. What I did here, and I'm gonna give away the secret, I put a little dot with a, with a marker so that you guys couldn't see it on the camera, and I put another dot right here. So I knew to start the arrow from here and end it here and then create the thing. So I put a little dot on there. You couldn't see on the camera because it's so small. But when I turned around, I could see the dot and I drew the arrow where those dots were. All right. That, not that big of a secret, not that big of a magic trick. All right. So that uh, is how I did that. And, uh, you know, and again, it's not that big of a deal, but the whiteboard allows me to put this up and you can see it and I can bring it up and, and I can I can like push it away. Right. I know that my timing was off. Push it away. <laughs> and wipe it off and then but that that arrow stays there um and so there's, there's just a bunch of different things you can do 
uh, I can put this up. This is uh, my demonstration for Zoom versus StreamYard. So this is what Zoom, and this is an overlay, right? So it covers my camera because it's an overlay, but you can still hear me talking because I didn't take my camera down. Um, but on the left is a is a Zoom call. This is what you see when people are on Zoom. It, it looks like you're on a Zoom call. It looks like a business meeting. It's all fine and dandy. If you want more than uh, six people up, you may have to use Zoom, but um, it just doesn't look great. There's no way of really making that look good. People, uh, you know, and people are talking and, and making noises and, you know, wiggling their chairs and they don't mute their mics. People are talking and then all kinds of stuff is happening. It's really not great. Where the one on the right, it's a stream yard and that looks way more professional. I control everything. I control the view, the look, the background. Uh, I create a, uh, a background that allows me when I'm showing a guest, it, it shows, you know, COVID-19 live TV show above and then our names are underneath. There's so much more you can do. You can do so much stuff. And it's not that hard. Using StreamYard is, is really, really easy, right? It's super easy to use for, and that is one of their pillars, right? They, um, StreamYard has four pillars. One of their pillars is ease of use for somebody that doesn't know uh, live broadcasting, that when you want to go live for the first time, you just click the live button and you just begin to talk and not wait for people to join. Have I said that enough? Do not make people wait for people to join. All right. Let me say I got some more comments coming in. Uh, cool. Uh, so three layers. Yes, three layers. And so I like to describe, so it's like pieces of paper, right? Um, it's like the, you know, the background, the camera, and then the overlay. And then if you were to, to you know, uh, you know, uh, want to see something, you just maneuver the papers or the, the layers of paper so you can see something um, and uh, and so on and so forth. So it's, it's really cool. You can add the share screen uh, also is the middle layer uh, if I wanted to share my screen. All right. Uh, very clever. Thank you. I'm a clever, I'm a clever guy. Uh, if you join the StreamYard community, you'll see that I'd make a lot of training videos for the StreamYard community and put them up to help people know because I like to experiment. Sometimes I get a wild idea and I said, I wonder if I could use my phone for another camera. And I've been able to do that. I send myself the link, the um, um, the invite link. It's magic. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, and so I will share the invite link and join as a guest. I will put my camera on a tripod and then now I can use my phone as a second camera on the very same broadcast. And I so I put training videos like that and people go, oh, wow, I had no idea you could do that. Uh, people uh, ask questions like, how can I have somebody call in from their phone and not join through an invite link, but call on a phone and take them as a call in a uh, guest. Well, you use Google Voice. And so I created a video training video for that and I uploaded that into the StreamYard community. So if you own StreamYard, uh, I would join the community. There's thousands of people in there. I'm not the only one who who uh, gives uh, really good tips. Uh, and I, if I don't mind saying, I think I put, put really good tips in there. Um, and Nobby may or may not uh, agree to that. I think he's in the community. But uh, uh, yeah, dummies could do it, yeah. <laughs> That is true. All right. So those are my tips, right? Proper camera positioning, key, uh, use a mic. Background is so important. Get the clutter, get the things out, position your camera so that you don't look like a, uh, you know, so you're in the witness protection program. So many people put the camera up and they have a window behind them on the day in the daytime. And the light is so bright that it looked they're, they're like a black silhouette. You don't want to be a witness uh, in the protection program. That's what it looks like. Um, and so you don't want to do that. Control your environment. Uh, do not wait for people to join. Just start talking. Tell, tell people what it is they're going to learn. That will give you some time for people to join. Don't say I'm waiting and then begin to name the people that are joining. You can talk about the people later on when they have good comments and bring them up. Like Loretta, uh, again, not Nobby, uh, but April had great comments. Everybody, a lot of people had great comments other than Nobby. All right. Uh, and then uh, use a tripod for your phone. Don't have it sitting on your desk. Don't use the computer camera because it's below right? And you have to look down and it gives you a double chin, all right? Um, use Ethernet cable uh, and use StreamYard. Get StreamYard.live. Make sure and use get StreamYard.live. All right, to close out, I want to show you one video of why you should be part of Tennessee Quarantine um, uh, Chuggers. And I love this group. It just shows you that you can make, and this is one of the things, you know, people think, well, what can I do what can I do to make money? What can I do to build an audience? What, I, what can I do to build a following? Because I want to eventually use that following to do something, right? To get book sales, to become a number one best-selling author, to um, uh, build a following so maybe I can uh, become a YouTube star and people can uh, begin to like and subscribe and that kind of stuff. And then I can get, uh, you know, um, 
uh, sponsors and that kind of stuff. What can I do? Uh, this quarantine chuggers, uh, which April who's on, who's the one who uh, kind of connected me with uh, Nick Krug, who is the creator of Tennessee quarantine chuggers with a cut with another guy. Uh, he actually saw it being done somewhere else and decided to copy it a little bit. And that's okay to copy. Everything is copied. There's nothing new in the zoo, all right? There's nothing new in the zoo, um, but it has caught on and it is huge. I'm telling you, it is huge. Hold on, let me get rid of this. Oh, there's Nick. Over 68, wait a minute. We have over 68,000 members. <laughs> I have four of us right now and the founding member of uh, oh, the Michigan Chugs. Sorry, they have, they have 68,000 members. I'll let you know uh, if I find the thing. Wow, that is such great stuff. Oh yeah, we have some good people coming on. All right, so uh, this is Quarantine Juggers. Look at it, it's a very simple, that's that's what their banner is. I'm gonna help them with this banner. That needs to be better. Um, and then it's just video of guys coming on and chugging. But uh, there's a guy named Sean. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? There's mine from today. Um, oh, man, they got, they got some great garages in Tennessee. There's some really cool stuff. Dang it, where did Sean's go? Uh, we're gonna have, or uh, and I can't say his name, unfortunately. But, uh, Old, old him, old him, old him is great. He's going to be on the show tomorrow. Um, if you want to see the show, you got to join the group. Gosh, darn it. Where did, uh, Sean go? Darn. Hold on. I got to type in a search. Sorry. Got to search for his name. <sighs> come on, come on. Bring up Sean. Here it is. All right. This is the one I want you to watch. So I'm going to play this for you guys. Oh shoot. You know what I did? Hold on. I got to go back. I got to redo this. Got to bring it on down. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so I'm going to play Sean. So this is just to close out. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to come back on after this video plays. It's only two minutes long. Uh, but I want to show you live streaming is a must if you are an entrepreneur, an influencer, an author, a doctor, a plumber, uh, a chimney sweep, a uh, pool cleaner, a, uh, a house cleaner. You can create a show, create a following that will create this wave of um, followers that will build your influence in almost in, in every niche. And not almost. I can't think of there, there's got to be one out there, but I don't know what it is that you will build a following that will lead you into a place where you are the go to person uh, and you can be you can you can go create. create. So I, I want to show you that this is a chuggers. Listen to me. It is a chuggers where you're chugging a beer. Facebook group. And the other group has 68,000 followers. Now, what can you do with 68,000 followers in a private group? You can begin to sell time to breweries in your area to interview them in that Chuggers web, uh, Facebook page or YouTube page or Instagram page, whatever it is. 68,000. Are you kidding me? And what's going to happen when you interview, let's say I interviewed the owners of Kona, and that's what's in this in this cup, Kona Brewery. If I if I interviewed one of the owners of Kona Brewery um, and got them on, and then they shared that video with their audience, what does that do to your Facebook page, your Facebook group? It grows, right? It grows your group because now people see that group that you have this chuggers group. They go, oh my God, that is so cool. I wanna join that group. Do all of their 100,000 followers join? No, but 10,000 might. Now you have 78,000, right? Now you interview um, uh, 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 805, right? 805 uh, Brewery, where you know, I think they're up north, I think. Um, you interview them. They have 2 million followers on their uh, Facebook page, right? And now you're broadcasting, they're sharing that interview of your chuggers group, which has 78,000 now to their two or 3 million, whatever I said before, I've already lost track. Um, and now let's say that, you know, 10%, nine, 2% of their audience joins. That is a good percentage of people joining. Do you see where I'm going? Um, if you ever want, follow anything that Russell Brunson talks about, this is what he was talking about today is that you, you want to join forces with other people that have a large audience. And this is what you do. I think Nick has a gold mine on his hands here as we move forward in this thing. And I would love to be a part of it. I'm gonna convince him that he needs to bring me on as administrator and to take this to the next level. Because um, 
if that other group can grow 68,000, I think Nick and the, and the people that he has on are amazing. Now you may not find this guy that entertaining. I find him purely entertaining. And every time I've shown one of his videos to somebody, they go, Oh my God, that guy needs his own show. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to share properly this time. That way you can hear the audio. And I hope that Nick and Sean don't mind me sharing this outside of the group. I probably should have asked first, but I'll ask for, for forgiveness in this case. Um, and I'm going to share this and share this video. And I want you to be the judge. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring myself down here, make this full. Oops. <laughs> that's how you not, that's how you don't run it. Let me make it, let me make it a little bit larger here. Hold on really quick. Friday, Friday, Friday. What's happening, Tennessee quarantine chuggers? Today is a good day. Friday. Up on the hill, it's wet. We've been in cloud, I think, but uh, we're going to get a little chug on. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to do a little uh, Yeehaw Dunkle, East Tennessee. And been up there, it's a good, good place. Damn good fish tacos. Uh, anyway, hope everybody's doing well. Good Friday. It's been a minute since I've seen y'all. Uh, it's been a crazy week for me. Friday fork in the road for me. I'll be good. Y'all be good. Hope that's off. Saxy waxy morphing in the background. For those of you who don't know, check it out. Anyway, happy Friday. We'll have a little bit after this. Just since it's Friday. Let's do something special. 2004. That's my boy was born. One, two, three, P R O O L. I have no idea what that was, by the way. Buckle up, Buttercup. All right. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, you know, that's not everybody's cup of tea, but I love it. He has uh, another one that he did out in the rain and um, I forgot what he called it, uh, quarantine shower or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Thousands of followers in these groups. I'm telling you, it may not, again, be your cup of tea. But remember, when you are doing a live broadcast, when you are doing a, when you are creating you know, a brand, a brand like Tennessee Quarantine Chuggers <clears throat> or Viseo, which is my network marketing uh, company that I, I do work for, or the Facebook Live TV show, whatever it is, that you are only attracting a specific audience, Like right? The Facebook Live TV show is not for people that aren't interested in live broadcasting or building um, a following or building an online training program. <clears throat> It is not for somebody that's not interested in that. And they're going to think this is a very stupid show. And you may think of a, sto a stupid show if you are into that area, but um, you would not be attracted. You would not be here to learn something if you were not interested in it. Right. And so it, it, you don't want the people that are not interested in what it is you're talking about and what it is you're doing. Uh, if you are a doctor, you want people that are interested in hearing about your specialty, about the thing that you are um 
most known for that you've written a book for and you want to narrow down you want to you want to weed out the world and bring in to your funnel the people that are most likely to buy in the end right in the beginning you're going to give you're going to give information you're going to give uh, free white papers you're going to give you know, a free book, you know, they only have to pay for uh, shipping. You're going to give away uh, a training, a couple training videos on a specific thing that you uh, have uh, developed and designed uh, that they want. And then you're going to hit them with something uh, that, hey, for $6.99, you can have this thing and people are going to take out their wallet and their credit card and buy that thing for $6.99 because it's easy to buy something for $6.99. But now you've, you've got them You've narrowed down to the people that are willing to take that credit card out and buy that thing for six ninety nine. The next thing is the two hundred and ninety nine dollar thing, and then the you know two thousand uh, dollar program, the mastermind program that you have. Whatever it is, there's a strategy that's going to fit your your model. So um, that, that that's my point for showing you the Tennessee Chuggers because I'm amazed at what that was fresh information that Nick just sent me. That the the other Chuggers group that he kind of took this idea from has sixty eight thousand followers. It is time for that group, if they've not already, to begin to use that uh, in a way that can either benefit another group. So in Tennessee Chuggers, uh, I don't have the shirt on. The shirt that I was wearing earlier, um, uh, they, they sell T-shirts, they sell hats. The hat that uh, Sean put on says Tennessee Quarantine Chuggers on it. Anybody that buys a hat, a portion of that, uh, those proceeds go to a charity. And so that is what they're using this particular group for, is that anytime there's some type of sale, a shirt, a hat, um, a quarantine chugger, a koozie that I have here. Um, anything that gets purchased, a portion of that goes to a charity in the Tennessee area, the Nashville area. And so um, there's a benefit from building your audience of followers who like what you're doing. You not may not like what the chugger that Sean was doing on the chuggers thing. It's perfectly fine. And you don't need to be a part of the group. And it is probably best you're not part of that group. But there's a large number of people who do find that entertaining. I'm one of them because I'm so busy and his background is totally entertaining, right? He doesn't need to worry about his background because the background is perfect for his message, right? He's going to go on and chug. He's going to put on a little bit of a show and say some things that are, you know, buckle up buttercup. I, that was my favorite. I about fell out of my chair. I've heard it before, but it's just him saying it in that surroundings uh, and putting going, uh, going, walking away from the camera to put the helmet on was perfect. He, this is, he's just being him, right? And it's so, so good. All right. So I hope I, I got my point across. Oh, wow. I just saw something on there. Uh, it just distracted me um, uh, on my share screen. What is that? It's the, oh, that's my, that's my cousin. <laughs> my cousin's giving a, anyway, I'm not going to show. All right. So she's on YouTube, apparently uh, doing a show. All right. So uh, there we go. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, make sure and go back. And uh, if you're watching, if you just joined on the, uh, the live, Go back and watch the replay. I, I go through a number of things that you need to keep in mind when you're building your show um, that would be uh, uh, beneficial to you, I think, in going forward. Again, there's a level in the beginning. Don't go crazy. Don't think I'm picking on you if you just started doing this and you're doing all the things right that I pointed out because that's where they, they, they come from, people doing these things. But at some point, you need to begin to move forward and take away the odd camera positioning, take away the odd background get a mic so people hear sound that is good and crisp and, and then people can understand what you're saying. Uh, and then a whole bunch of the other steps that I put. Those steps are at the beginning of this particular uh, live broadcast. So make sure and comment if you're watching the replay. Even if you're watching the replay, I would really appreciate it if you would comment and you would put in some emotions like hearts and thumbs up and laugh or whatever or that you hate. It's okay that you don't like what I'm talking about. It's okay that you say that I'm full of crap. I, it, I, I love it because it's a comment that goes towards putting this uh, broadcast out to other people. We're going live again on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch all at the same time. So your comments all mean something. All right, that is it for me. And I'm so appreciative of your time tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we have a Quarantine Chuggers show. It'll be broadcasting, simulcasting on my personal page and the Quarantine uh, or the COVID-19 uh, live TV show. It'll be uh, simulcasting on those uh, channels. So make sure and be aware that we'll be doing that tomorrow. I, I forgot what the time was. Let me see if he put the time up. Uh, Nick was going to get back to me on the time and it is standby uh, five o'clock Pacific standard time. So five o'clock Pacific standard time. Uh, and which means wait. Yeah. So that's uh, seven o'clock um, 
Tennessee time and eight o'clock Eastern time. I'm pretty sure. I'm not great at math. It's sad that I'm my children's teachers, right? I have a six and eight and 12 and 13 year old that I'm the, their teacher. It's sad that I'm their math teacher. <laughs> It's not, it's not good that I'm their teacher. All right. So uh, again, thank you for joining. Make sure and share. If you have people that you think that might benefit from this particular video, share uh, on your personal page or share it to them in a, in a messenger uh, comment. That would be fantastic. I would appreciate anything uh, that you can do in that area too. That all helps. All right. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. Oh, what happened? Stand by. <laughs> what happened? Thank you.